Panasonic AU EVA1 firmware update procedure and version 2.0 test footage. In this video, we will show you how to update the firmware for the Panasonic AU EVA1. We will also show you some test footage recorded with the new 2.0 firmware. First, let's check out the current version of the firmware installed on our camera. Turn on the power switch. Next, press the menu button. Then, select System Settings and Information. Finally, select Version, and you can see our current firmware version. We have version 1.10. I also wanted to show you our currently available Kodak compression options. Press Menu to exit. Press Menu again. System Settings. System Mode. Main Kodak. And you will see with the current version of firmware, our highest quality recording Kodak is 422 Long Gop 150M. Press the Menu button to exit the menu. Now let's install the latest firmware. First, make sure that your camera is plugged into AC power. Next, format an SD memory card in the camera. We have the Panasonic SD-XC2 128GB card. Press Menu. Record Settings. Cards Media. Format Media. And pick slot 1 or 2. Whichever slot your memory card is in. Ours is in slot 1. Then we will press Set to format the card. Press Exit. Power down the camera and remove the formatted SD card. Next, download the latest version of the firmware from Panasonic. We will provide the link in our description below. Click Download. Accept the software usage agreement and the firmware file will be downloaded to your computer. In this case, our downloads folder. Note, if the file you downloaded is a zip file, you will need to extract it first. If it's a .htc file, it's ready to go. Connect your camera's SD card to your computer with a card reader. On our Mac, the card shows up on our desktop. Just drag and drop the downloaded update HTC file from the Downloads folder to the card. Make sure it's outside of the Private folder. Eject the card after the firmware has been copied. Place the SD card back into the camera. Turn on the power. Press the Menu button. Then, System Settings, and Information. Select Update, and then Yes. The camera shows us that it wants to go from our old firmware to the new version we put on the card. Select Set, and the update process will begin. You can watch the progress bar. When the update is complete, the power automatically turns off and then on, and the message, Update is completed, is displayed. Select OK, and you are all set. Let's now check the available Kodak and compression options. Press Menu, System Settings, System Mode, Main Kodak and you will see, with this version of the firmware, all of the additional Kodaks and compressions available. You will also notice that it can output RAW through the SDI out.
Here's some simple test footage we recorded with the new firmware. Thanks for watching our video and please subscribe if you found it helpful.